morning guys it's frequently asked Friday and it is actually Black Friday um, I'm guessing that Black Friday this year in the year of 2020 is probably different than most I'm actually hoping that it, it is um, I was out this morning and drove past um, Walmart and it was not crazy packed like it normally would be on Black Friday. Hopefully everyone is doing their online shopping um, because in past years, if I've been out on Black Friday, it's pretty much impossible to social distance. So anyway, happy Black Friday. I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving yesterday. That too was very different than um, anything we've had in the past, but um, it was good. We we just made the most of it. We were very creative and um, had some short little visits, um, but we made the most of it. Stayed safe, um, and I hope you and your families did too. Today's question is actually a pretty broad topic. I'm going to kind of glom everything in that I can about a home inspection. Um, I have often not all the time, but I have often actually heard first time buyers say, do I really have to get a home inspection? Do I need to spend the money? Money's tight. Do I need to spend the money on a home inspection? I always tell them that it's probably four or $500 for a home inspection. It's gonna be the best four or $500 that you're spending in the whole investment. Um, it's going to give you the big picture it is going to send you away with a report giving you um, information on what you're going to need to do moving forward. Um, what could potentially be wrong with it right now? As I always say, knowledge is power. And that is what a home inspection is. Um, another topic on home inspections, um, just to finish that one up, um, always, always select a home inspection as part of your contingencies when you're writing an offer. Um, the other end of the home inspection, um, I've had sellers in the past, not so much right now um, in this crazy fast selling environment, but I have had sellers in the past say, hey, why don't I get a home inspection as the seller and present the report to the buyers? Um, now in a market, that isn't like this right now, that may be a little bit slower, that's more of a buyer's market than a seller's market. Um, having that inspection report done in hand can, um, can potentially help uh, to sell your home. Uh, the buyers can take that and have all the information that is in that report. Now, also as the other side, I'm flipping back and forth here, but as a buyer's agent, I will um, suggest to my buyers that they take a, a home inspection report that's given to you by the seller with a grain of salt. Um, even though it is an independent home inspector, um, you still have to consider that that did come from the seller. That's not to suggest that there's anything wrong with that. Um, but, you know, you do have to always keep in mind that that home inspection report is coming from the sellers. Um, you may still want to get your own home inspection report independent of any connection to the seller. Um, another thing actually aside from the home inspections that kind of comes up sometimes in negotiations, um, we will sometimes offer a home warranty. That's another question that sellers have. Is it a good thing for us to offer a home warranty? It does help uh, on the market. And again, this would be something I would suggest um, more often in a market that is slower for the sellers to sell. Right now, they're going so fast that they are um, dizzy trying to figure out how to get out of their houses fast enough uh, for their new buyers. But sometimes um, putting a warranty, putting that on the sign can be another selling point for a homeowner. So, there you are in the home inspection report. If you have any other questions about it, a home inspection report from the buyer side, uh, do you want to get one or not? What are the benefits? What's in a home inspection report um, is a lot. Um, they go from you know A to Z in the property, top to bottom. So a home inspection report is very handy to have. Um, 
So hope that answers your questions on the home inspections. Um, I did want to end add in here at the end here um we have the holiday lights contest in full swing right now and i see lots of people out decorating their houses out there um we would love to have you join the fun first prize is a hundred dollar visa gift card second place is a fifty dollar visa gift card and all of you that enter the contest are going going to be put into a drawing to win a mrs printables awesome delicious gift basket so um it would be helpful if I had the deadline dates with me right now, but I don't. Um, go onto our Facebook page. Oh, on Facebook, we are Find Your Dream Home with Faith LaRosse. Uh, go on there, all the information, just kind of check down through the feed there on our page and you'll see all the dates, the deadlines, uh, how to get us your video. Uh, you don't have to be in any certain area. So if you're seeing us in North Carolina, you can still participate in our contest. We'd love to have you. Um, it's lots of fun. Um, everyone will choose the winner. We'll be posting our, our top three, I believe it is, videos on our Facebook page, December, I think it's the 12th, but check the page. Um, and then you will get the chance to vote on first place and second place. So um, if you're decorating, why not shoot a video? Um, I was told that the Amity Township is actually also doing a holiday contest, holiday lights contest this year. Hey, their prize is $250. You could make a bundle. If you're great, you're shooting a video anyway for, and you live in Douglas Township, uh, Amity Township, um, you could, you know, make some bucks over the holidays. So check our Facebook page, Find Your Dream Home with Faith LaRosse, like it, follow it uh, so that if you are sending in your video, you can have your friends and family vote if you wind up being one of those top three videos. So um, enjoy your holiday weekend. Stay safe out there. And remember, I'm always here. Just reach out. We are just a text away. Phone call. We're on Instagram. Uh, Twitter. Some, yes. Um, Facebook. Always on Facebook. We'll always, we'll always get you on Messenger. So um, have a... a great holiday weekend and we will see you next Friday.